Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series in Python for beginners by showing you how you can plot grids in Matplotlib. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, awesome. So we are, we are picking up from where we last left off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at plotting grids. And in fact, yeah, we'll, we'll do it here again. We'll do, you know, different sections each time. So plotting grids in Matplotlib. So what we're going to do is we're just going to comment all of this out from what I did previously and that's just so it doesn't interfere with anything that we're going to do today. So we're going to copy what we did previously. So let's have uh, the so let's have A and B again as we had before. And this is just so we don't have to, you know, waste time, you know, <laughs> writing out new arrays. So we're going to have A and B again as we did in the in the previous kind of set um, in the previous section and we're going to do plt. you know, plot A and B and then plt.show. Okay, so this is going to plot a very simple graph as we established in the last section. There we go. Very, very easy graph. And now what I'm going to show you is how you can plot grids in the background of this. So it's a lot easier to read off because you may be looking at this right here and you think, okay, what is that here? Um, let's have a look. I'm going to just see what that point is where the graph changes. Okay, so I think it's 8 and 180. I think, um, you know, you can spend around ages trying to figure out what it is. A grid is a lot easier to help you kind of navigate what section is what. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this to a scatter. And that's just because it will, you'll be able to see the point here and point here and point here. And then we can see where that is on a grid. So the way that you do a grid is you just say plt.grid, very, very easy open brackets, we'll rerun this file and then watch what happens. How cool is that? We have a grid and we can see exactly where these points are. How cool is that? That is how cool, that is very, very cool. So now we've got a grid on our, on our plot. Now what I'm going to show you is some parameters you can put in this grid section here. So we can do something as simple as the color again. Um, let's say we want the color to be red. We seem to like red in this tutorial series, <laughs> um, but it stands out so you can see it a lot more vividly. So we have these lines here. Let's say the lines are too thin and we can't read them. Let's say we want the line width and we can change that. So let's say we'll change it to two, which is going to be quite big. And let's say we want instead of the line width, you know, instead of the line to be a simple line, let's say we want it to be dashed. So we'll say line style. And if you remember from the previous sections, a dash line is two dashes like that. Okay. And now if I was to run this file, watch what happens. Whoa. Now that is very bright. In fact, you can't even see the scatter plots because of how bright it is. So that is how you change things. Now, what may be a little bit of a better idea is if you change the line width to, let's say, 0 0.5. So it's a little bit smaller and we'll change the color to maybe, well, look, we'll keep it with red. OK, so let's run that and let's have it a little bit you know, thinner lines and let's see what happens. Awesome. There we go. So the lines are a lot thinner. They're dashed so we can see the, you know, the points here that we have. Awesome. How cool is that? So now what I'm going to just show you is how you can simply have the grid so that it's not vertical and horizontal. So if you just want it, you know, one axis, the way that you do that very simply is you'll just type in here axis and then you'll say what axis you want. So let's say Y axis. We will rerun this and notice now there is only lines on the Y axis. And similarly, if you want to do the X axis, let's rerun this. Awesome. X axis. So that is plotting grids in matplotlib. I appreciate this has been a very short video, but honestly, grids are so easy and grids are so easy to plot in matplotlib and they're so helpful when you actually want to infer data and read things off a, off a plot. So that is how you plot gri grids. So that is how you plot grids in matplotlib. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.